Well, I just want to say thank you all so much for coming out to support my friend Alan Kittleman. I've known Alan really since I was a kid. Both of our dads were involved in politics. Uh, I think both of our dads, uh, we both learned a heck of a lot about integrity and public service from them. Um, and I've, I've admired Alan Kittleman for a long, long time. He, he, uh, he, he really is all about public service. He, he's not all about partisan politics. He's going to represent everybody. And uh, I believe with all of your help here today, and if all of you go out and continue to work as hard as you can for the next four weeks, that Alan Kittleman is going to spend the next four years working hard for every single one of you. I've known Alan and, and Bob and his family for a number of years. Uh, he's a great man, great family man, and a great Marylander. And we need the help of everyone here and all of your friends who are not here to make sure that Alan comes back to being our county executive. The one central ingredient to success um, in governing is leadership. The most essential great ingredient is leadership. The kind of men and women that we nominate and hopefully elect, they are an extension of us. Our concerns, our hopes, our dreams, our opportunities, our frustrations, we share all of that with them. Our hope and expectation is that they in turn will try in the best ways they can to make it a little bit better, to help businesses grow a little stronger, to help families grow a little closer, to help schools teach a little better, to help solve problems we have in our community. And that's what leadership requires. That's our expectation as citizens. And that's why you're here, to support the next county executive who will do those things in your name, who will do those things for you. I'm asking you to once again treat yourself to good leadership and go out when you leave here today and do everything you can over the next four weeks to elect the once and next county executive of Howard County, Alan Kittleman. Now, I, I share your concerns about how our schools have become more and more political. I share your concerns about the safety of our communities. I share your concerns about the high cost of living and doing business in Howard County. And I share your concerns about the undue influence of big money in politics. And we're trying to make a change for all that, folks. We want to make Howard County a safer place, our schools to be the best in the world. We want to make sure that you can afford to live here and stay here even after you retire. And we also want to make sure you know that you can trust your county executive. Folks, I have not taken, this campaign, I've not taken one donation above $250 from any individual. I've had no donations from any businesses. I've been in what they call the Citizens Election Fund. And I'm telling you, it has changed my whole view of how you campaign. No longer do you make those phone calls asking for money. Now I spend time talking to people Howard County. Now I spend time going to people's homes, going to their, meeting their friends finding out about what's important to them because folks your county executive works for you your county executive isn't the, the boss you're the boss and the only way the county executive can do the job he or she's supposed to do is to meet with his bosses and find out what's important to the community so that's what I want to do I want to be out there meeting all of you I want to continue to serve you the best I can I want you to know it's not about political ambition with me it's not about ego with me. Hey, I'm just doing this because I care about Howard County. I'm a Howard County boy, through and through, born and raised here. But folks, I'm just a guy who grew up in a, in a, in a family that, that worked hard with a single father and you know, worked my way through uh, law school, uh, worked during the day, went to law school at night. You know, If something's worth doing, you work for it. And this county is worth fighting for. And I think we need to all work together to fight for the future of this county, to make sure that everyone is respected to make sure that everyone is included. But please, folks, please reach out to the folks who are here today because uh, we need to do better, and we can do better. And come November 8th, one month from today, uh, we'll have hopefully new leadership here in Howard County. Thank you all very much.